Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're discussing the heresies that have surfaced throughout the history of the Church, and today we'll talk about Nestorianism. Nestorius was born in either 381 or 386 AD, it's unclear which, in the city of Germanicia, in what we now call Turkey. He was trained in Antioch, and after gaining some popularity as a preacher, a Byzantine emperor named Theodosius II made him the Patriarch of Constantinople. In the Byzantine Empire, a lot of church matters were decided by the state in this way. A short time after he came into his new role, Nestorius wound up in the middle of a theological argument between two groups. One group wanted to refer to Mary as Theotokos, which means God-bearer, while another group rejected that title because God was an eternal being and therefore couldn't be born according to them. Though Nestorius tried to get the groups to arrive at some kind of compromise, in the end neither side would adopt his suggestion, and his ultimate decision was that Mary only bore the human nature of Jesus, not his divine nature as well. This is the heresy of Nestorianism, which tried to separate the human and divine natures of Jesus. You don't give birth to a nature, you give birth to a person, and as a person, Jesus was both man and God. As an aside, it seems that some of the Nestorians went around building straw men of the Orthodox position, claiming, as many modern Protestants do, that Catholics worship Mary or treat her as equal to God. I say this because in addressing what they believe to be the Christian position, many Muslim texts assume that the Trinity worshipped by Christians consists of God the Father, Jesus, and Mary. This error is even found implicitly in the Quran itself, and was probably picked up by the writer or writers of the original Quran from Nestorians, since Nestorianism was a common heresy at the time and place where the Quran was being written. St. Cyril of Alexandria was a major opponent of Nestorianism and was strongly involved in the First Council of Ephesus in 431 AD, where Nestorius was deposed and declared a heretic. Again, however, it wouldn't be long before yet another heresy would pop up, this time on the opposite side. And next time, we'll pay a visit to a presbyter named Eutyches. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.